someone in California just got a positive test for the bubonic plague. So let's talk about it before we all start freaking out about going through another world pandemic. This wonderful disease known as the bubonic plague. Bubonic because it causes these. Bubonic really means growing. It's a bacterial infection that mostly gets carried to humans by fleas. Usually a flea bites a rodent or other wild animal that carries the disease and then said flea also bites a human and then human gets this disease. And it has a notorious history. The first bubonic plague in Europe was called the Justinian plague as it ravaged through Constantinople. The good news is that most historians believe that it wasn't as bad as we initially thought. But there was a second wave and that was much, much worse. It was affectionately named the Black Death and it claimed the lives of one in three Europeans. Even today, there is an island off the coast of Venice where they would send patients with a bubonic plague. They believe a third of the ground is actually bones of all the people that have died there. There's some very spooky documentaries on it. So should we be concerned? Yes and no. The first part to understand is that we now have a treatment for the disease. We do have a vaccine, but it's not widely distributed and is only offered to people that are at high risk of exposure. But the most important thing to understand is that this case is not special. There is anywhere from 500 to over 3,000 cases of bubonic plague every single year around the world. The majority of cases today are in sub-Saharan Africa. Most interestingly, in the US, most cases are in the Southwest. That is because in the 1920s, Los Angeles had a bubonic plague outbreak. And ever since then, you can find signs like this out in nature because the urban rats eventually did mix with the rural rats and passed on this crazy disease. Back in the day, the chance of dying was over 60%. So how lethal is this disease now? With modern interventions, antibiotics, and early intervention, the fatality risk is below 10%. So if you see one of the signs, stay here.